Alright, palpation <coughs> instruction video take number four, I think, because Leliana is being incredibly difficult today, ma'am. So, you'll take your snake out, and I use um, a silk uh, pillowcase because I'm really bad at palpating with my hands, and Heather Devers, I say Devers because I have like four Heathers on my Facebook, slash Tumblr, slash Instagram, whatever I post this on. Um, so I have to be specific, but she showed me that it works so much better with these. So you take your snake, who hopefully wants to get back in her enclosure this time, and you want to take your fingers, you put your thumb on the spine and your bottom finger on the belly, oh she's actually going, and you squeeze, and what you're feeling for is honestly a string of rock, there's one, like rock hard uh, bumps essentially, it's like bumps in the road. They can be anywhere, oh, there's another, um, from pea-sized to ping-pong ball-sized and a little bigger to th three, um, and you can kind of see my hand move when I feel them, but they're going to be different than the guts. Um, the way I figured out how to tell is I palpated a male and felt how he felt, and then I palpated my female and felt the difference. So you can feel like a string of teeny tiny pearls, or about this big is how big hers are right now. Um, and they'll bump, because you're squishing, and then your finger, don't like tense, don't tense your hand, have it loose but squishing, and your finger will go bump, bump, over the follicles, basically. Um, it can take some practice for sure, but you definitely want to be feeling the whole stomach because it's usually directly in the center, but if you just put your finger up there, you're not going to feel it because it's going to move to the side around the finger. So if you put flat, um, you'll be able to feel it. And that's basically it. Uh, I've counted up to eight follicles in her right now, but last year she had eight follicles and then laid twelve whatevers, um, eight of which were duds, but there was twelve in there. So if all goes according to plan this year, uh, we will have at least eight good eggs, crossing my fingers for more. Uh, she's got a month or so until ovulation. When the follicles are about that big, about as big as a ping pong ball, that usually means they're about a month out from ovulation. Um, she is also refusing Rhea. She, she doesn't want to walk with him anymore, so that's also a good sign. That and the fact that she's trying to eat everything that comes into her enclosure is an excellent sign. So, yeah. Good job, baby. You did great.